السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ آفٹر ایوری بڈی آئی تھنک مائی فرینڈ ہیز گون اے نائس ڈیمو آف اے پورٹل کال لائف رے سو جسٹ ٹو لیٹ یو نو دیٹ از دا موسٹ پاپولر پورٹل ان دا ورلڈ وتھ مور دین فورٹی تھاؤزینڈ ڈاؤن لوڈس پر منتھ دا نمبر ون پورٹل آئی اٹ کڈ بی اوپن سورس اور کمرشیل اینی پورٹل یو ٹیک ان دا ورلڈ اٹ بیٹس آئی بی ایم اراکل سیپ اینڈ مینی پورٹل سو it's a very classic portal so in the similar category i am going to introduce you to another tool here called alfresco again it is a open source uh, but it is open source enterprise content management uh, system um, so i'll run few slides uh, before getting in um, i am i know this subject very well because i've written two books on this topic uh, alfresco and uh, the third book of on alfresco web content management is going to be released in june um so i'm going to cover the introduction to alfresco as a company as a tool and i'm going to demonstrate three flavors of the tool one is document management system the way you manage the documents the second one is collaborative share portal it is like uh, microsoft sharepoint so it is uh, you can replace microsoft sharepoint uh, with alfresco the first one is document management system that means you can replace something like documentum uh, with alfresco the third point here is web content management that means you can replace something like introven vignette atg so these are the proprietary software where you pay millions of dollars you know with alfresco so basically this particular tool gives you three different flavors of implementation one is document management system Uh, collaborative share portal for collaboration and intranets third one is web content management um, so right now they have about more than 1.5 million downloads um, there are about 90000 community members uh, 10000 registered developers um, you know 50000 plus live sites uh, pretty uh, impressive uh, statistics for a product which has 5 years of life span and uh, this is considered as world's fastest and scalable enterprise content management we have got benchmarks with one uh, i think with 100 million objects is the independent benchmark people have done uh, with 100 million files putting into alfresco reading into alfresco and they compared with all proprietary commercial products in the market and then uh, this particular product has beat them in the in the benchmark that means this is the fastest and highly scalable repository in the world available as of today and then right now you know it's been used in many many customer places one example is we have 200 200 million objects for us department of homeland security in production environment as of today yeah and there are a lot of companies using a lot of government is using it um financial companies banks um uh, media companies educational uh, uh, sectors are using it a lot of uh, universities are using it and the product has you know there are four uh, different flavors of the product as we discussed one is document management uh, web content management and you know uh, collaboration and the, another called is alfresco content platform that means you can use it as a repository to replace your shared file system uh within your organization just as a replacement as a back end repository you don't have to use it as any one of these content management systems you can use it as a repository um, as a scalable repository uh it has uh, basically it enables there are various flavors of connecting with the system i'm going to show you a few flavors uh let me take you to the uh, to the demo directly so this is basically the web based interface is called as uh, uh the web web client for alfresco's repository actually and the next version of alfresco is replacing this particular user interface with much more uh, flexible web 2.0 uh, interface now this is a web based interface you can see the folders let's say i'm um, you can see on the left hand side also let me um, let me click on my intranet where i have documents for my finance department um, you can see all the contracts Uh, all the documents with the finance department all the sales documents engineering documents marketing documents your videos uh, files everything so it's basically a repository for your company now this is one one way of communicating 
What is very important with these tools, especially with open source content management products is, uh, it's more than open source, it is open standards. What is the standard way of storing the content? Standard way of communicating uh, with the system through APIs and so on. So this is one flavor of communicating with Alfresco. The second flavor is this. This is like portal application. See here it is uh, web 2.0 Ajax, so I'm in, I'm in intranet. You can, you know, it gives you, um, you know, the same folders. See, I'm seeing, see, finance department, marketing department. If I click on the finance department, you see the similar contracts and all. Same, same as what you are seeing here in, in the finance department. So this one is, again, JSR 168 portlet. That means you can take this portlet and embed in any portal application. You can put it in IBM portal, SAP, or LifeRay, for example. That means you are giving the complete document management system in a, in a small window as a portlet and say, please use it. So they don't have to invest anything uh, as long as the system is running behind the scenes. So you can, uh, you can integrate with the systems you have. The other approach is you can do web dev integration. Uh, this is another uh, popular integration where people do. You can do FTP. Uh, you can browse through the sites. And then another thing is you can do on the file system. Most of the people use Alfresco they do not need training. You, they use it as if it is in their local file system. You can map the, uh, map the Windows or Linux file system. Um, and then you can say, see here, I can see Alfresco. I can see Intranet. I can see the folders. I can see the finance department. Um, and I can see the contracts. So basically, you are using it as if it's your, it's your uh, local file system. And all the files you upload into the local file system will get into the server, basically. And obviously, no matter how you connect to Alfresco, either either through this or through web-based interface, it'll it'll go. You have to go through the same security engine. That means you are not bypassing the security. You'll have to authenticate on these systems. Another way of communicating is basically I can I can directly you op, um, you know open the you know open office and then I can say open and then you can read the you know you can go through the uh, Alfresco repository. And you can open the files, you know, intranet, finance department, and so on. So you can use it through the open office, or you can go to Microsoft Office, and they have a, we have a plugin, and let me wait for the plugin. Yeah. So basically, there's a plugin from your office where you can open, open the document, start workflows, convert that into PDF format, and so on. Yeah. So there are various ways you can communicate uh, with the system. That is the beauty of it. And then uh, there is a mobile integration done. You know, so Alfresco is, is first in innovation. Um, there is a first enterprise level product replace, replacing uh, replacement for SharePoint. And if you have Microsoft SharePoint, you do, if you don't want to replace, but if you want to plug in and connect, so there is an integration. Alfresco is the only product I think that supports SharePoint protocol to communicate with your SharePoint application. And then, um, and then mobile, it's 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 already released last week, where you can communicate with your mobile phone. You can connect to your document repository, download the files, upload the files, read the files, and so on. And then this is the architecture. Basically, the center of the architecture is the repository. You can uh, push the files into your web applications, knowledge portals, web services, uh, and also the virtual file systems. So I, we have seen the demo of these things, you know, connecting through your web dev and other file systems. And this is the architecture behind the scenes. It's completely Java-based architecture uh, based out of Spring-based uh, framework. What this architecture gives you is interoperability. That means you can run this on a Linux platform, on Sun Solaris, on IBM um, and on, on Oracle platform, you can use MySQL as the database. You can use any uh, application server. For example, you can use uh, BA WebLogic or IBM WebSphere, Tomcat, JBoss. So you have a choice. Um, so you don't have. There is no fixed platform for th for this particular application. You can run it on your uh, own platform. So you don't have to invest on the infrastructure uh, in a separate way. And then I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, give you a flavor of Alfresco as a document management system. So why do we need a document management system? Is basically you need to eliminate the paper. Uh, so you can create paperless office kind of applications where you're digitizing all the documents, 
pushing them through an approval process so all 